Hello, I'm Carol Dunn. I'm a designer with craftsuprint.com and today I'd like to show you how to make one of my double pop-out butterfly cards. As you can see, when you open the card, the butterfly is in two layers and pops out when you open it. As you can see, I've already cut out all the pieces and there's one or two little jobs I've done first. First of all, I've cut out the middle of the card and I've folded a piece of A4 card in half and I've stuck it into the middle. The next thing I've done is I've scored along these lines, um, which makes it easier to fold. So I'll fold those and put those down like so. That's the big butterfly and the smaller one which goes on top I've already scored. These pieces I've scored, these are the supports which hold the butterfly in place. I've already scored them, but I'll show you how to fold them. They fold around in a box like this, and then you glue them in place to make a box. But I've already done that. I did that earlier because I like to use the very strong glue for this job as it um, they need to fold and open when the card is opened so they need to be quite strongly glued together. So I've used the all purpose glue that has a, has a bit of a smell to it and I also wanted them to dry properly before I assembled the card. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is to assemble the butterflies. And again, I'm using the strong glue that has a bit of a smell to it because it needs to be quite uh, strong, this, this bit of the card. I'm going to put glue on one of the side bits there. And also on this top piece. And it fits inside the large butterfly. Flush with the side bit, like that. And the same for the other side. This smaller butterfly layer, pick the wrong one up, goes on top of this one. But all I need to glue on, on this layer is this piece. You don't want any glue on that one. This again fits flush there along the bottom, but you will notice that there is a gap between these two layers. And again with this one. So glue just on this side. Give those a minute or two to dry. Then I take the middle of the card, which goes that way up. That on some of these designs, there is an upness and downness to the design, so it doesn't matter. 
Now this little box will fold flat like so and it does that when the card is closed. So we need this edge to be right next to the centre of the card. And we need to glue the bottom again with the strong glue and the side. That needs to be lined up in, in pretty much in the centre of the card, as near as you can get it. And also this next piece of butterfly. Now we've, we've put glue on that side, so we only need glue on the bottom of this one. And that goes next to it like this. Just give it a minute to dry. While that's drying, this is the butterfly body. With, now I haven't put any dotty lines on this because I didn't want to ruin your card. But you need to score down the middle. And fold it. This goes on top of the butterfly like this. But you only need glue on the centre bit, not on the top or on the bottom or the head. Let it dry, uh, so now it's held quite tightly in place. As you can see, it will fold up and it opens out when the card is opened. But there's a bit of a, too much of a gap here. So what we need to do to fix that is to take these small pieces, fold them in half and fold the ends back so that they make a little spring. And these go inside each side of the wing, again with strong glue. So one goes in this side and they go with the cut edges towards the middle of the wings, towards the centre of the card. And again on this side. As long as you put them somewhere near towards the end of the wings, it doesn't really matter where you put them. Now to finish off the centre of the card, you put sticky pads on these size butterflies and they go around the edges. So that's the centre of this butterfly card finished. 